best guy there is. And I want to bring him out now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Wayne. Sure do sit a horse well. I can't tell you how happy I am to have you on the show. Well, I can't tell you how glad I am to be here, Dean. Yep. And I sure want to thank you for getting me such a good horse. Well, that ain't no ordinary horse, pal. They don't say that horse was a zebra before the white knight went by, you know. <laughs> I'm working on a western right now with Kirk Douglas, and I sure wish you were with us. Now I gotta give up westerns. It's too hard to read the cue cards when I'm galloping along. <laughs> Well, don't give me that, Dean. We've made two westerns together, and you never missed a line. Don't let this get out, pal, but I was writing Mr. Ed, and he never missed a line. <laughs> Tell me, Duke, of all the pictures you've ever made, what's your favorite? Well, the one I had taken last week with Marisa, my eight-month-old daughter. Oh, well, that's nice, pal. You know, <coughs> I think it's swell. You, you having all those kids, and especially now having a new little baby, I'm, I'm proud of you, Duke. Well, I'm proud of you, too, Dean. You know, you've got seven. You haven't exactly been sitting around staring at walls, either. Well, well, Larry, Duke, everybody, you know, seems to love you. And let me ask you something. They all want to know, here you are, one of the biggest stars in the whole world, been making pictures for 37 years, got a spanking new daughter. Now, what do you want for her, Duke? Well, uh, same as that. any parent wants, I guess. I'd just like to... Stick around long enough to see she gets started, right? I'd like her to know some of the values that we knew as kids. Some of those values that too many people these days are thinking are old-fashioned. Most of all, I want her to be grateful as I am every day of my life to live in these United States. I know it may sound a little corny, but the first thing my daughter is learning from me is the Lord's Prayer. And some of the songs. And I really don't care if she ever memorizes the Gettysburg Address, just so long as she understands it. And since little girls are seldom called upon to defend their country, she may never have to raise her hand for that oath. But I'm certainly want her to respect all those who do. I guess uh, that's a... What? Did you see it? Pinocchio! Go backwards. Look at that swipe on the nose. He drops his head and he wants a snicker because he knows he's a liar. The actor known as John Wayne is a liar. That's why he brushed his nose. That's the Pinocchio sign. We'll see it again. I guess so. Uh, that's a. Did you see it? Backwards. Pinocchio, I am lying to you about everything I just said about America. I know it sounds corny. Of course it sounds corny because he knows who he's playing in hoax history. Yes, That's about what I want for my daughter, Dean. I'm proud to know you, Duke. Well, it's all just a show. What do you mean? Well, guess who you just saw? Oh, you might not realize this. Do you know who you just saw? You just saw the President of the United States make a little speech. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. LBJ on your left. John Wayne on your right. LBJ on your left. 
John Wayne on your right. Lyndon Baines Johnson, President of the United States, was played by John Wayne. That's right. John Wayne is a liar. <laughs> and so was Lyndon Baines Johnson. Why? Because they're of the father of lies. Don't believe any of the characters that are put in front of you in what you believe is real history. R-E-A-L. It's actually R-E-E-L. Film reels, photographic rolls of film, digital pictures. Lyndon Baines Johnson was played by the Duke, John Wayne. That's right. You can even see it in their um, years that they're here on Earth. LBJ, born 1908, died 1973. So the president, the so-called president, will die a little bit sooner than John Wayne. John Wayne, born 1907, died 1979. It fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly. And if you look at the body build, the body mass, it's all, it's identical. The body mass of John Wayne fits right in with the body mass of Lyndon Johnson. So once again, you just see, you just see nonsense all the time. That's all that's ever presented to you is nonsense. LBJ on the left, John Wayne on the right. You can't trust anything that's given to you as actual history. Our minds have been so confused because we've been told a bunch of lies by liars who run things secretly behind our backs and do things that we're not aware of and play games with our minds. But I want to tell you about someone who doesn't play games with your mind. It's the Lord Jesus. And if you take the Lord Jesus into your life, and ask for the mind of Christ, the mind of Christ will help you to get through all of this nonsense in this world. So once again, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I do appreciate your support and your viewership. End of video.